Hi YouTube. Today we're gonna show you guys uh, what happens after the negatives are uh, developed and they have to become pictures somehow. So they either become pictures by um, uh, using an enlarger and printing them in a traditional darkroom or they become pictures by just scanning them. So here I got a scanner. Let me try to love this camera. There you go. I got a scanner. It's just nothing fancy. It's just um, Epson uh, V500. And I don't see a reason for uh, anything better for my personal use because I simply don't print any larger than 10 by 10 inches. And the last time I printed, um, the largest one was 24 by 24 uh, out of the scanner, and that was pretty much, um, you know, that, that was, um, that, that the results were pretty good. So I wouldn't invest in anything else. Actually, I was thinking about uh, V700, but that's a couple hundred dollars difference. The V500 is, I believe, 150 bucks brand new. The one I bought was uh, refurbished, so they were selling them for that. They were selling that for 100, 120 dollars, refurbished by uh, by Epson. So uh, what we got here is um, we got some uh, negative holders. They're the OEM holders for the 120 film, and I got one for 35 millimeter film. And tonight we're gonna scan some 35 millimeter uh, pictures for my uh, Zorkis. And we're gonna scan a uh, one uh, roll of uh, 120 film. Uh, I also, a while back, I bought uh, I bought uh, a Jiu-Jitsu negative holder from Better Scanning. Uh, believe it, BetterScanning.com, and that came with a anti-Newton glass, anti-Newton ring glass, and came with um, custom holder. It was um, it was pretty. It works pretty well, but the thing is, it takes a while to get it set up, and you can only scan like two negatives at a time, and then you have to invert them, and then you have to crop them. It just takes a while. If but the results are excellent. If you wanna, um, if you wanna print large or if you want extra juice in your pictures, then you might as well invest in that. They carry one for. Uh, 120 and one for 35 millimeter, uh, but I'm not using that very often. I'm just using um, standard OEM holders. So let me um, pull this thing back and and let me show you how um, how I do this. Uh, first thing is uh, first we gotta load the negative. Get this camera set up. Alright, so we're just going to load some 35mm film into the holder. Simple, just uh, follow the instructions, the picture on a, on the a holder itself. Snap this thing in. Just like that. And what I like to do before I actually scan it, I like to take my uh, blower and just um, blow some dust off of them. So I don't have to remove the dust from the from negative uh, later in Photoshop. So here, first thing is first, you gotta turn the scanner on. Okay, Mr. Scanner, why aren't you working? Wait a second. Okay, after some technical difficulties, we got the scanner working. Pull the thing back and... Oh, uh, we gotta open up the software. So you go to, um, go to your scanner. 
software that, that came with the scanner. And I'm using professional mode, not because I'm a professional, but because it offers more um, things to play with. And let me zoom in so you can see what's going on on the screen. Alright, so what we got is um, is a software and it, in the little um, interface it asks us what we're going to scan. So we say we're going to scan some film. You can also choose some reflective which would be um, a picture or a document. So we choose um, what kind of film we're using. We use a positive or negative uh, color, negative black and white. Here we're scanning black and white, so we'll just choose black and white. And uh, how we're gonna, what we want out of it. So we're gonna choose um, 16 bit grayscale. That's what I've always been using for this. And here we're using just 2400 dpi. That's what I've been using for most of my scanner, for my pictures. Uh, 4800 dpi, sure, if you want larger files. But I've learned that this works great if you want to print up to 10 by 10. And I'll talk about printing a little bit later. And I don't put anything here. I don't put dust removal. I don't put unsharp mask. I don't do any of this stuff. Because I learned that it takes some. Uh, why should I put unsharp mask? What do I? Yeah. Because it takes. If you put all this other crap on, it will take like 10 days to scan a picture. They don't, they don't want that. So once you got all this stuff done, you check the thumbnail check mark thing, and and you load your um the, you load your um negative into a holder into a scanner. Easy as that. Close the lid, and you just press uh, preview. Now the scanner will go through um uh, uh, scanning scanning um, cycle and it'll Duh. I didn't remove the the jujitsu that um, is used for a negative for film or documents. Beauty of life TV. Alright, let's do one more time. We got it all set, close the lid. Preview. Now the scanner will go through the scanning cycle and it will um, it will give us a preview of all the pictures. And from there we can choose what we want scanned, what we don't want scanned, and uh, we can change few things on them. I don't like changing anything. I like to change stuff in Photoshop if I want to. Okay, so let's let's zoom in and see what's what's on what's there. So we got some thumbnails printed here, and we got this little thing next to it. Says full size. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe just click full size. And it'll give you a preview of every picture. And you can change things on them. You can change the, uh, the histogram. Let me say histogram. Yeah, the histogram. And you can change your whites, your blacks, and you go to the next, and then to the next, and you do this stuff on every one of them if you want. If you don't want something scanned, you can uncheck it. Alright, now in order to scan them, you just click thumbnail again on top of them. You can see, you got full size and you got thumbnail, so you can you click thumbnail and you just um, you have these little check marks next to each picture, so you can uncheck it if you don't want this particular picture to be scanned. So I don't want this one. And once I'm done, I'm happy with my selection. I just click scan. 
and they asked me where I won these pictures. So I normally put them on a the desktop and then later um, move them to different locations. Just click OK. And the scanning thing starts. For um, uh, how many, uh, 10, uh, 35 millimeter uh, frames, it's going to take. It's going to take about 10 minutes, so go get a beer or a coffee and uh, we come back later and then I'll show you how, how I scan a 120 film. Uh, and then we'll talk about the uh, uh, printing these things, you know, where I print them or why I print them, where I print them. Alright, All right, so now that the 35 millimeters are done, we're going to put away the the negatives and we're gonna transfer the files to where it should be or where I want it to be. So I already have the folder open I just cop copy them in there and and they uh, they sit there all happy. Now I keep these um negatives in, in a binder and um, now we're going to go ahead and scan we're going to scan the 120 120 film from my Yashica camera I shot this thing a few weeks ago and never got a chance to to scan these so now this time we're using a medium format negative holder. Uh, it takes dust it off. It takes uh, either two uh, six by six a square format, or it takes um, three three uh, four and a half by six, or one six by nine. Um, negative. So what we're going to do, this thing just opens up like that, it's got a little hinge there, we open this up, pull our negative, whichever doesn't really matter, just going to take this one. I always hold my negative by the edge, I never grab them with my fingers because you got oil and you got, you don't want any fingerprints on your negatives. Um, and then you sit in a motion side up. And then what I like to do is gently center them within the holder. Dust them again. And here's the tricky part. Or not really tricky, but here's what happens next. In your software, you have an option which says configuration. You go to configuration and it asks you for your medium format, it asks you um, what size film you're using. So you got 6x6, six six. you can select between 6, um, you can select 6x7, yeah, like which is um, Mamiya uh, RB form uh, size. You can choose 6x6, six six. you can choose 6x9, six or 6 and by 4.5. And we got 6 and 6, so 6x6. Six it's the same thing, uh, 2400 dpi, 16 bit grayscale, unsharp mask, and I do preview. Now, this thing is going to go through uh, scanning cycle and it's going to give us a, a preview of our negatives. Let's see what's on them. Maybe nothing. We got something. So let's um, put full size here. We got a negative. Uh, I got a picture of this lovely couple I met um, met in the city. I asked them to pose for a street portrait. And we go on to our next one. And this is one of the street scenes I have shot. So here we can. Uh, here we can play around with uh, 
histogram, we can make it more contrasty. And I like it like that. So I'm just going to leave it. And click back on thumbnail, thumbnail, and then you just click uh, scan. It will scan to your desktop or selection of your choice. It will go, it will take um, roughly about four minutes to scan the picture. So we'll come back in four minutes and show you what the end result looks like. And then we'll talk about printing these things. And that'll be the end of the video. So as the negatives um, are being scanned, the computer's already popping out the files. Not pooping up, popping up. And we start seeing uh, results. I'm going to put it in Photoshop. And here we got, uh, it's pretty nice it's a pretty nice picture actually, I like it. Let's zoom in on it. It's uh it's fairly sharp enough for what I needed. Like I said, if I needed sharper or more details, actually with more details, uh or sharper, I would have used that uh, jujitsu I talked about in the beginning of the video, uh from better scanning. And it works it works pretty well. Once you get it tuned, because you you have to set it um you have to set the sharpeners by uh, adjusting the height of the negative holder from the scanner bed and you have to do trial and error and then eventually once you get this thing set it makes pretty damn good negatives or actually um, it works as a good um, negative holder for the scanner so what I want to show you is just this and this, will, this gave me roughly a file of that's um, 4,800 by 4,800 um, uh, DPI. So if I wanted to scan it, if I wanted to print it, um, if I wanted to print it uh, 10 by 10 inches, like I mentioned before, it would be about 400 DPI per inch. So that's pretty good. You can print 20 by 20 if you want and still get a good file. You gotta understand that if you're printing 20 by 20, you're not viewing this thing from one inch, you're viewing it from a couple of feet. So, the nice thing about larger negatives is that you can scan them and print them larger, and you get a larger file. The same thing with printing them in the dark room, you, you don't have to enlarge them as much to get a uh, decent sized print. That's the good thing about um, the medium format. I like, like to shoot medium format whenever possible. Another thing is printing now. I, I print my pictures um, both digitally and in the darkroom, and but I prefer digital prints for some reason, less hassle, no need for chemicals. And I send them off to Adorama. They do a pretty good job. I'm not advertising anyone here, but they do a pretty good job uh, scanning them, printing your pictures. You just have to make sure you, you do your own um, uh, printer profiling, and I downloaded the printer profiles from their website and it works great. Never had issues, print many of them. One day I plan to maybe uh, make a little display for myself, but I printed a ton of these things and sometimes they get deals for 10 by 10 sometimes you have to pay full price, which is I think 250 299 something like that, which is not bad. You get good quality, good paper, you get enormous paper selection, you can, you can go crazy with that stuff. So I think that will conclude the video and if you guys have um, any questions or, or concerns, please write comments, email me. Uh, check out my other videos as well. And until next time.